Hello everybody, I'm Frida Stoffer and I have tried Aldi's peach vinaigrette dressing to today and if you'd like to see what I did with it, stick around and see what I did. There, I'm going to do something special with this white balsamic peach vinaigrette dressing I got from Aldi yesterday. I've put ginger in the chicken, just chopped up ginger. And now I'm going to marinate it in the peach dressing. The peach dressing is fairly sour. Like I really taste the vinegar in it. So um, it's going to be, um, I thought the um, ginger would be a good addition because uh, to balance out that vinegar and um, the sweetness of the peach. So I'm just gonna let it um, marinate until this afternoon when I want to cook it. It's still a little bit frozen. I, I let it thaw most of, mostly, and I slice them pretty thin. Um, and these will be like cooked in a flash because chicken breast doesn't take a long time to cook. It can be, if you cook it on high heat, it just takes like seconds to get it cooked. And overcooking it will make it tough like shoe leather. <laughs> I'm also making spaghetti for the kiddos. Um, I think I might have showed it to you before, but I'll just show it to you again. Some of you might be new. Um, this is a two pound box of spaghetti. I always make the two pound box so we can have leftovers for the next day because the kids love it and they have no problem eating it two days in a row. And that is one of the few things they'll eat two days in a row. They won't eat rice the second day. There's a lot of things they won't. They just won't touch the second day, but spaghetti is not one. I have three kids who eat spaghetti and one who does not. So that means just one kid needs something different. Anyway, I'm going to boil these until they're done. This smells so good. I, um, I uh, buy frozen bags of uh, peppers and onions from any grocery store. They're not that expensive. And I can save them until I want to use them. And there's no risk of spoiling. And also there's no... Um, no uh, waste, it's all used. And then I, I drop it in the food processor and I, um, I make it into, uh, I add it to your pasta sauce. I put hamburger meat in here. I, I use the bacon drippings from yesterday and I am cooking it in the bacon drippings because my daughter specifically asked me for sausage. Uh, sausage spaghetti sauce and I thought that would make it taste more like sausage and uh, we use beef bacon and beef uh, beef sausage so um, it goes t together really well and the kids will have the extra flavor of that bacon bacony taste I could put a little black pepper in because I think sausage often has black pepper I think I'll do that. And then I'm going to, since that's a two pound box of spaghetti, I'm going to put two bottles, two jars of marinara to this sauce. And I always put the peppers and onions in. And I put a lot of garlic um, because they like that garlicky flavor. And my this is the sauce I always make. My kids are crazy about it. And they'll be even crazier if I serve it to them with a little bit of... Uh, Parmesan in it. I'd never buy the Parmesan in the container. I buy the ones, the shredded kind that comes in a bag, and they love it. And I also keep that in the freezer so they don't just eat it up whenever they <laughs> whenever they want a snack. So <clears throat> I have to learn ways. I had to learn ways to keep them from eating up everything um, just when they feel like snacking. Anyway, um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna add some black pepper to this and maybe some paprika or something like I'm that. I'm using a little bit of smoked paprika to increase the smoky taste um, that the kids crave in their spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I've put black pepper. Um, I've put oregano. I've put that smoked paprika. I've put um, a dash of cayenne. And I put the two jars of marinara. Now I'm going to just simmer this together just a little for a couple of minutes so the flavors will mix together nicely. Yep. And then as soon as the pasta is done, I'm going to throw it in there. I didn't add any salt, so I'm putting two cubes of um, Maggie Halal Chicken Bouillon in it for salt. There it is, all done. It's gonna sit here and absorb the flavor until the kids come home. And I made sure that I uh, drained the spaghetti as soon as it had that al dente um, taste. I, test, I taste tested the spaghetti to make sure that I um, get it at the right second. And now it's going to absorb that sauce. The kids come home and I'll just put it in bowls and give them a little Parmesan on top of it, Parmigiano Reggiano, and they'll, they'll love it. There's my chicken merrily marinating in the ginger and the peach dressing. I smell the ginger now. Mmm, smells good. Okay, I'm putting potato starch on the chicken. So I'm putting avocado oil in this skillet and I'm going to uh, fry the chicken flash fry. There's the flash fried chicken. Mmm, looks so good. Yummy. Golden. Gingery. I, I also have little bits of fried ginger in there. I mean, awesome. It tastes really good. And that's what it looks like flash frying in the pan. Mm -hmm. okay. There it is. I think uh, if I had some peaches, I would put some peach slices in there too. But that's my salad, ladies. And gentlemen. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm putting a little drizzle of peach dressing. Yep, I marinated it and now I put dressing on again. <sighs> Let me see if I can take a taste. This is butter lettuce from Aldi with uh, peach dressing from Aldi and ginger from Aldi. And uh, the chicken is halal from the Arabic store. So from Jerusalem market, it's like maybe <clears throat> two steps from the Aldi. Well, not literally, but one minute from the Aldi store. So Bismillah. Mmm. 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 Mmm.